Bienvenidos. Today we're going to talk about reciprocal reflexive verbs in Spanish. Reciprocal reflexive verbs are simply reflexive verbs that imply the action being done to each other instead of just to the subject of the sentence. If you'll remember, reflexive verbs are where the subject of the sentence is also the recipient of the action of the verb. Reciprocal reflexives still have that same concept, but they have a little bit more in that the action is also being done to another person. There are three criteria that reciprocal reflexive verbs meet. The subject is plural. It could be ustedes, ellos, ellas, nosotros, o nosotras, or any nouns that meet those uh, types of categories. They have a reflexive pronoun, and it's either se or nos, and the action is being done to each other or to one another. Here's an example. Cuando visito a mi mamá, siempre nos abrazamos. When I visit my mom, we always hug one another. Now in English, we have to say one another. But in Spanish, because of the verb construction, nos abrazamos, it's implied that we're hugging each other. We don't have to say one another. We have the plural subject, nosotros, or nosotras, in my case. We have a reflexive pronoun, nos, and the action is being done to each other. Now, if we wanted to in Spanish, we still could add the one another part. We could say one another on the end of the sentence. And because I'm a girl, and because my mom is a girl, one another would be la una a la otra. So if we add this on to the end of the sentence, it still means the same thing. We're just explicitly saying to each other. Let's look at the next example. Los caballos viven en grupos porque se limpian los unos a los otros. The horses live in groups because they clean one another. Now in Spanish, in this sentence, we would put the one another on the end because if we leave the one another part up, if we just say los caballos viven en grupos porque se limpian, it could mean that they clean themselves because se limpian is also the just regular reflexive form of the verb. So we have to put los unos a los otros on the end to say they're cleaning one another. Now notice that this is plural, los unos a los otros, because our subject is los caballos. Whereas in this sentence, it's just me and my mother hugging one another. We are both girls, so it's singular feminine, singular feminine. If I was a guy and I was talking about hugging my mom when I see her, one of these would have to be masculine. La una al otro or el uno a la otra. In this case, caballos is masculine, and so these are both masculine. Now, in this example, ¿Se ayudan ustedes con la tarea? Do you all help each other with the homework? Again, it's implied. This is reciprocal reflexive. Do you help one another? So we don't have to put one another, but we could. We could put la una a la otra if they're all girls, or el uno al otro if it's a mixture of boys and girls. If it's just two people, if the ustedes refers to just two individuals, we could say el uno al otro. If it's a group, a larger group, and we're talking about y'all, then it would have to be los unos a los otros, just like we had up here.